today's video guys I'm going to show you all of the best methods in order to boost your FPS here in Fortnite chapter 3 season 4 on laptops. I'm going to show you everything you can do on your Windows laptop in order to get more FPS and the best performance possible. I'm also going to talk about the best in-game settings and the best rich resolution since so many people always ask me what is like the best res for laptops. Don't be worried guys I got you covered. Everything by the way which is gonna be mentioned in this video is gonna be available on my discord where you also have tons of other FPS boost packs so therefore make sure to join there guys discord.gg slash as it's right now you're on screen without any further ado let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys the first tip which i'm going to give you right now is super beneficial because let's just say that you're playing fortnite for multiple hours on your laptop it doesn't matter which brand you're running if you're running an asus rock a lenovo an acer it doesn't matter guys all of them are gonna get insanely hot after some time you can literally have the best cooling out there it will still happen and what this does is guys it's going to cause thermal throttling which means that your laptop is automatically going to clock down your cpu in order to counter the new heat you know so therefore what you guys want to do is go onto amazon and i'm gonna leave a link to the one which i bought which was the cheapest i could find on amazon guys yeah it literally works like this one was like 12 30 bucks that's all guys and trust me you will have benefits for this for as long as you game on your laptop yeah they're super easy you know it's just like a small light aluminium kind of like cooling pad with one or two fans in there which you can connect via usb into your laptop and boom you're already done guys the temperatures are gonna be a lot lower i literally bought one of those for my mom recently for her laptop because she had the same issue you know let's just say that you're working on your laptop you may be editing youtube videos you're editing your next fortnite montage or you're just simply gaming it's gonna overheat and this is going to decrease your performance because more heat means less FPS because as mentioned your Windows PC is trying to like counter this yeah so therefore it's going to clock down the CPU clock down the GPU and just simply the overall performance as mentioned I'm going to leave a link in the description guys to one of them it's not even going to be an affiliate link this is my personal recommendation because the cheapest one is just enough you don't need like some super fancy one with RGB of course you could also go for one which has like I think a USB splitter in there so you have like four or five USB ports in there it's all nice and fancy but let's be real guys we just want a game so therefore get the cheapest one you can find maybe even on like banggood or ali a i'm maybe also gonna leave like one or two links there in the description to some really cheap alternatives i think i found one for even like seven bucks so therefore make sure that you check it out guys and yeah this is it for the first tab and yeah guys in today's video we're going to be using a very specific laptop boost pack here for season four guys and you can find it here straight up on my discord just simply discord.gg slash those reps guys once you join you maybe have to verify yourself you know bot is going to ask you big since we don't want any bot accounts of course here on the discord guys and once you're verified you should also see like all the video related channels or you can just simply go into this um, top search bar type in laptop and then you should see laptop boost pack season four which is going to straight up show you this channel and from there you can by the way download it guys and if you click onto it there's a normal message potentially dangerous download but guys i mean i just uploaded it like yeah one minute ago here and there's exactly the same pack so therefore don't worry nothing's gonna happen by the way guys what i also want to say is if you want to support me you can also straight up go on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys the stripes box spot and you don't even have to get the pack over here if you just simply get like one or two ads on this website you would support me for absolutely free guys you know what i'm saying and yeah then you can get it as well from here this will redirect you to google drive from where you can also download it guys and once you get it on your pc we first of all gonna extract it all and we have you know chris titus deep loader and game user settings guys and what we're going to do in the first place is click onto this file here and copy the following code then we're going to go into our windows search bar type in powershell so we open up here as administrator guys right click onto it the powershell and once we're in here it's going to look a little bit like this here then we're going to paste in the code guys and then we should have chris titus tech windows utility and by the way guys huge huge shout out to him he made this amazing tool and what are we going to do from here is click onto tweaks guys then we can already see here all the essential tweaks on your windows pc and what's super cool is yeah already recommended selections we have either desktop laptop or minimal desktop is like a full optimization which might also maybe disable some stuff which you guys use on a daily base or just make your windows look a lot worse as you can see i have no like preview here while moving around windows because i simply don't care about it personally like yeah i don't need it at all and i rather disable all of these fancy animations in order to get more fps but what i would recommend is just simply leave it onto laptop guys and run all tweaks this will disable a bunch of the most important stuff here something like location tracking home group storage sense game dvr and basically everything which is really costing you a lot of performance on your laptop guys and once we're done with that you just simply going to close it and you can restart your pc but in the first place we're also going to replace now the game user settings which i'm going to show you and will also like include later on in the settings part but yeah what we're going to do is go into our windows search bar type in presenter 10 presenter open it up 
clicking now onto local, press F on our keyboard for Fortnite, saved, config, Windows client, delete our current game user settings and replace them with the new ones. And once we got them now in here, guys, we can also open it up because the stretch res, which we're actually using is also in here, which is going to be 1480 times 912. And I would say we're just gonna go straight over now into the settings part. And yeah, guys, once we're going to take a look at the best laptop settings here in Fortnite season four, guys, we're going to first of all, take a look here. And no, I'm not playing on native guys. I'm actually playing on 1480 times 912 which is in my opinion the best stretch resolution right now on the laptop because it still looks insanely good. You know it's not too stretched whatsoever and it's just going to give you a nice picture of all. And once we're going to take a look at the rest of the settings guys, please put your colorblind mode on Tritonope set to 10 guys, yeah? If you have it on anything else like Dutronope, your game is just gonna look awful simply. I mean, look at this, bro. All the colors are washed out. It looks horrible this season. So therefore guys, the only colorblind mode which you can actually play is Tritonope set to 10. For the rest guys, of course, keep it on performance mode, everything disabled or on the lowest possible guys. Also make sure to disable actually here auto download high resolution, super, super important. So once you're going to take a look, also please make sure that you don't leave your matchmaking region on auto, please straight up put it on your region, which for me would be um, Europe. So therefore put it on that one because Fortnite might actually connect you to a server, which is more stable, but further away. And yeah, with that said, finally guys, we're also going to go here now over to HOD scale which I like to keep between like 60 and 70%. That's kind of the sweet spot in my opinion, guys, personally. But yeah, you gotta find out for yourself. You know, it's not too annoying. You can still see all your weapons and everything. And for the rest, we're also gonna go here now into sound, guys. And there, please make sure that your sound quality is on low and visualize sound effects is actually turned on because they finally fixed it. It's not really costing you any more performance. And it's just really helpful overall, guys. You can get the whole entire game user settings file, by the way, as well from my Discord. So therefore, check it out. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite, guys, I open up no ping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay off my keyboard. And in addition to that, guys, no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you wanna play. As an example, if you're gonna search here for Fortnite, guys, we can click onto it and it's gonna showcase me the best server in my near, which would for me now be here London 02. And you can see on London 02, I get only 23 milliseconds delay, whether on Frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones, guys, where I would get 26 milliseconds. So Therefore, this already helped me to get three milliseconds less ping, guys. And then we're only going to click here onto Optimize Game, and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near, guys. Just simply let no ping run in the background. You can boost your FPS, reduce your input delay, and get less ping. And by the way, with the link in the description, guys, and my code, you can get 20% off as well as the seven days trial, guys. And you can pay super easy via PayPal. So therefore, this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.